I'm in my bathroom. And that, that, I think that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So, anyway, that was it for my tutorial today. What else is there to say? I don't know. Anyway, mm, 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 mm. I don't know. So, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Pastel28. Today I am here with a hairstyle tutorial and also a tutorial on how you can make your own creaseless hair ties, like in these here. I am obsessed with creaseless hair ties, they are awesome. Like I mentioned, they are creaseless and they are so super cute. Also, to just keep on your wrist as decoration or as an accessory to your outfit. And they are so awesome to use on your hair. They're so soft, and I just basically love them. And they are so simple to make yourself, so I'm going to show you how to do that. And then with your new creaseless hair ties that you have created, I'm also going to show you how you could make some hairstyles. And I hope you enjoy this tutorial mix of hairstyles and DIY. So let's just get into it. So to start off, I went to a fabric store and I found some different colors of elastic that look just like the original creaseless hair ties. And then I just measured some of it off and trimmed it. You can of course use any length you'd like depending on how big or how small you'd like them to be. And then it's really simple, you just tie a knot into your elastic and make sure that the knot is more on one side. That way you have room to use it as an elastic. And then here I'm just tightening the knot so that way it does not open. And I also have more room to make a hairdo. Now I've repeated this step with all sorts of colors. I also did different sizes. I made some smaller, some I made bigger. That way depending on which hairstyle you're doing, you can choose the right elastic. And that way it also holds nice and firmly. And boom! Now you're done! That's how simple it is! To start off, I'm taking my tangle teaser and brushing my hair back. Now I'm going to create a high ponytail that is very high. Trust me, it's higher than all the other ponytails. Sort of like a Barbie high top ponytail. So I'm just wrapping an elastic around there until I got my high ponytail, like this. And now I am dividing that hair into three sections. I'm taking two of them up front and one is on the back still. Now I'm flipping my head forward and braiding towards me. And I think this is such a great trick to make a braid in your hair. You just flip your head forward and then braid as if you normally would towards you. You don't have to do anything backwards or so. And then if you tie it off and flip it back, it will look like you were taking so long to braid this, but actually, it was so much easier than doing it behind your head. So now once I have braided my hair, I'm going to grab an elastic again, and then I'm going to knot it off. Um, by the way, try to braid down as far as possible, even if it starts braying, you try to go even further. That's what I at least tried to do. And once you've tied it off then, like this, you should basically just have a braid. You can either leave it like that, or you can continue with the actual hairstyle that I'm trying to sh show you. So you're going to grab the braid and sort of twist it on itself as if you're doing a top knot bun, but with a braid. And you'll just continue wrapping the braid around itself. And then try to remove the elastic while holding the braid shut. You don't want it to open or anything. And now keep wrapping it around and like stuffing it underneath so that you can't tell you didn't braid the last part. And then just take one of your elastics again and wrap it around the bottom until your bun is secured. And you're done with your braided top knot bun. I think that's what I'm going to call it. For the second hairstyle, you're going to brush your hair back again. And then you're going to take your thumbs and place them next to your ears and section off the top part of your hair like this. So I just placed my thumbs there and then went back and it basically sectioned it off by itself. Now you're going to brush the 
just the top part of the hair that you just sectioned off back. And then take a hair tie again and tie that together. So I just went two times around, but you just go around as many times as you like, girl. Then once you've tied that off, I'm just tightening it a bit and then you are ready done. And now for our last and third hairstyle, you're going to section off the top part again, like we have done in our last hairstyle. And then you're going to divide that upper piece into three other pieces. So I'm just taking one next to me up front there and dividing the other two pieces too. Now once you have three, you're gonna just sort of start braiding like two, three times normally. Now you're going to grab a little bit of the bottom hair that is still hanging there and braid that over. And then you're going to grab some more on the other side and braid that over. And you're basically just going to continue that until you're all the way down. Then um, you just see me continuing. There I am as fast as I can braid. And then once I'm getting a little bit longer, I'm taking it to the side and then just braiding down the side because it's easier than to do it behind your back. And then just take an elastic and tie it off again. So that was my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the hairstyle as well as the DIY and together they're just awesome. So hope you enjoyed that. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Goodbye!